This video is for Invisalign providers, and I want to show you a high-level uh, look at a ClinCheck adjustment that you can make for increased predictability. Now, here is the position of a patient, and among the remaining movements in refinement is going to be taking the upper left canine and rotating it in on the mesial. If you can see, it's still out on the mesial and the tooth is rotating. Now this movement will happen because the upper centrals will come forward, which is helpful in this case because it started edge to edge. But what I'm going to show you is relating to the rotation of the upper left canine. In this view, it seems plausible. We want to move the mesial in, maybe the distal out a little bit. But when you look at it head on, and you have to develop an eye for these things, you see the rotation. But notice that, do you see how the root appears to be moving mesially. The tooth is leaning uh, with, a, with a healthy distal root angulation, but that's good in a class three case. And when the tooth rotates around its axis, that's more predictable than if you're asking the aligner to both rotate it and give mesial root torque. You can't really see that when you look at it in this view right here. And so I simply make an adjustment where I leave the tooth on the current axis. Now, do you see how it's rotating, but the root is not moving mesially? This will not at all harm the final result, but it's one of the kind of movements you can make to try to keep the aligner in the tray. This will help you require less attachments and have more predictable results if you can try wherever possible to avoid any type of root torque, which as you know means sort of moving the apex of the root mesially or distally or buccal or lingual for that matter. I hope this helps.